Welcome to the Golden Eagle Spotlight on GoMarquette.com. I'm Jen Armson Dyer. I'm here with women's volleyball assistant coach Craig Dyer. Thank you for your time. Yeah. How's your summer been? Summer's been busy. Uh, we had a lot of recruiting trips early in the in the spring, late summer or late spring, early summer, and um, been doing a lot of work with camps. So it's been very busy. Good. Now this will be your first season at Marquette. You were previously at Penn State, where you were on the men's volleyball side, um, and your team won the 2008 national championship. Why did you decide to move to the women's game? Well, there's a number of reasons. Um, there's only 23 Division I men's volleyball teams in the country, and there's roughly 300 more Division I women's teams. So the opportunities to, to coach at a high level are very limited at the men's game, um, and I kind of established, or I, I, I did that, and uh, I wanted to get back into women's volleyball, and um, just kind of a good, a good opportunity. Marquette has, has uh, really... Um, made a commitment to women's volleyball, and uh, it's exciting. Okay. What did you see in head coach Bon Shemansky and the program to know that volleyball can be successful at Marquette? A number of things. Bon's a, just a, got a lot of energy. Uh, he's got a great vision for uh, where this program can go. Um, he built a uh, solid program, obviously a really solid program at Georgia Tech, and um, there's just a lot of uh, great, great girls volleyball in this area. We can recruit regionally. I know uh, when Bond was at Georgia Tech, that was kind of a, a challenge for him to recruit regionally because this down south there's not as great a volleyball. But with Wisconsin and Minnesota, um, Illinois, Indiana, not too far away, there's a really a lot of uh, a good base for a lot of really good high school and club volleyball. Good. Now you've been at, Mar at Marquette since March. During that time, what have you learned about the school and the program? It's just a really family atmosphere. I really enjoy that. Um, I've worked uh, three other colleges. Division One universities. I've worked at a couple other smaller schools, but um, this is the the closest knit of a group that I've seen. Um, obviously, Penn State had a lot more sports, and I think that helps with, you know, Marquette having such a, a small number of sports. Uh, you're able to kind of get to know everybody, and uh, I really I really like the campus. It is an urban feel, but you step out of Wisconsin Avenue, and there's a big quad there, and you kind of don't even remember where you are. So. Um, it's a great facility. Uh, uh, the Al McGuire Center is probably one of the top ten volleyball facilities in the country, too, so that can also help with our recruiting. Good. Now, before Penn State, you were an assistant coach on the women's side with Seton Hall and Rutgers, where you also served as an interim head coach. How do you think those experiences will help you at Marquette? Well, I coached in the Big East before, and um, a lot has changed in the Big East. Uh, I, I came in at the very, I left at the very beginning of the, the crossover, so um, when I say crossover, I mean there was the the addition of the teams uh, to make it kind of a mega conference. Um, but I know, you know, just simple things like, hey, we can go eat at this place at UConn. I've been there three times. It's really good for the team, things like that. But, uh, you know, kind of tendencies of some coaches. I know a lot of the coaches in the Big East and um, kind of how they like to run their offenses and defenses. So I think that might have been, uh, a, will be a good uh, help in this fall as well. Good. Now, in January, you your team got a big transfer in junior uh, junior setter Nikki Klingsporn, who played two years at Wisconsin. Talk about the significance of that and what she will bring to the team. Nikki's an outstanding setter. Um, anyone that has played in the Big Ten and started in the Big Ten has played against some of the top teams in the country. Obviously, you know Wisconsin's a great team. Uh, obviously, Penn State winning the last two national championships. Uh, Minnesota's always very strong. Purdue, um, but. You know, having the, the idea of having Nikki come in in, the, in January was huge because she could learn the offense. Uh, the offense that we run here at Marquette is vastly different from the one she ran at Wisconsin. So it gave her um, a lot of reps. Uh, we, we worked a lot with her, and she got a lot of touches on the ball and got to uh, kind of feel out the, that system. Um, and it was great. She's just a great kid, works really hard. We're, we're really lucky to have her here. Good. Now, in addition to the new coaching staff, a lot has changed with the team also. You have seven returning players and seven new players. Mm -hmm. Talk about what you'll be looking for from the team. Well, it'll be a young team for sure. We only have one senior, uh, but I think that's exciting. I think, uh, you know, the, the players that, that went through the spring and are, have kind of come out of the spring have, have really bought into our ideas and our concepts. And... Um, with the new recruits that we have, uh, some of them were signed by the previous coaching staff, and, and about half of them, are, or at least half of them, are our, our recruits. So it's really exciting. It's a great combination. I think everyone's very excited about the fall. Um, we have high expectations. 
you know, we'd like to say that we're going to, to be one of the top eight teams in the conference. I think that's a real feasible, feasible goal for us. And I don't think that, I don't think that bond is going to settle for just top eight. So that's also a really good thing. What should the fans be excited for to come out and um, watch Marquette volleyball this year? Well, I think our offense is really exciting. Uh, you know, having watched some of the game tapes from last year and having played against um, the former coach uh, when I was at Seton Hall, um, the offense is a lot faster. And, you know, a lot of people that watch volleyball or, you know, don't know volleyball, don't understand that there are offenses and defenses and different things you can do with that. And um, I think that our offense is super fast and it's really exciting. Um, the goal for our offense is to create uh, a single blocker on our on our attackers and if we run it well we'll do that and we should have a lot of success so I think that's a big thing it'll be fun and uh, you know I think just a, a, a kind of a, a breath of fresh air with the coaching staff and some new changes I think it'll be a good environment to be in great thank you for your time thank you for watching Golden Eagle Spotlight on GoMarket.com